Hi, welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts and it is graduation season and we are super excited to bring you some new bigger and better crafts to accent your party. So we got this idea from the grad folders that we sell in our store and we decided to blow them up. So here is a really giant one that we've accented with some of our HMI stickers, as you can see right here. And we've got most of the schools here in Hawaii available. Again, those are HMI stickers, HMI stickers. <laughs> and then we've also accented this with some ribbon. It's another cute idea, but this is great for your parties and then all of your guests could actually sign this. It can be used as decoration and for your guests to sign. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this awesome project. All right, so to get started, you will need a black piece of poster board. That is 22 by 28. That's usually standard in the poster board sizes and what you'll do is actually just fold it in half and make sure you burnish it down really good here so you have a really nice crease. All right, and then we will measure to 18 inches and I'm just marking it with a pencil here and here, 18 inches. We're gonna cut off that bottom part. The reason I'm doing this is this just looked too long to be a actual graduation folder, photo folder. So I liked it when it was cut shorter. So your dimensions will now be 18 by 14. It's halved and then we're gonna cut off a few inches. All right, I have cardboard sitting here. Very important when you're cutting foam core, poster board, anything, to, when you use your knife to put cardboard underneath. One, to protect your surface, and the other one is so you don't dull your knife blade too, and you can get a really good cut. So hold it firmly and cut. So took that right off. All right, so now I have my graduation card. Then next, I took a separate piece of poster board and the dimensions for this one are slightly smaller than the inside. So 17 and 3 quarters by 13 and 3 quarters. The reason I do that is when you put this piece inside, if it fits too perfectly, this will never shut flat. You might want it to shut flat, I do. <laughs> so by giving that little bit and cutting that little piece off of both sizes, sides, you can fit it in perfectly, okay? That's why I did the inside piece 13 and 3 quarters by 17 and 3 quarters, okay? And just as a reminder, that's for this inside of your black folder. That's what we're working on now. All right, then I took my ruler, I measured two inches in on both sides, drew lines two inches in on the top and bottom. I've already penciled that, I've got my lines marked, have my cutting board, my knife, and cut. Now we're making that opening to hold the folder. I really like this project because I think it's fun if you blew, um, if you blow your picture up to an 11 by 14, it fits perfectly. 
inside here and you can use it like at your card table for your graduates party or just as decoration. And it's graduation. You really want to blow this up big. <laughs> Be proud of that graduate. Okay. So the inside just fell right out. I'm going to get rid of my cardboard now. It's not so sightly. <laughs> All right. Next, I'm going to take a gold pen. This is a deco color paint pen. And sometimes you need to shake it to get that ball rolling and the paint going. And then you can dab it down to make sure the color is there. I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch. I do this a lot, so I'm not measuring it. Quarter inch, put a line all the way around. Make sure your ink is dry before you move that ruler because you don't want it to smudge. And on the inside of these folders, it's a double gold line. I want it to look as much like that folder as possible. If one of your lines goes a little bit over, it's okay. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. Forgive yourself. <laughs> this one went a little over. Not going to freak out about that. That's why you should pencil it in first. <laughs> I'm a fast crafter, so I don't have time for that sometimes. <laughs> like to get it done. Okay. And now I'm working on my last gold line. When it all comes together, you really don't even notice those little imperfections anyway. All right. So we have the inside now. I'm going to take the actual card part and open it. Flip this one over. Now I'm going to take double sided tape and put it alongside one of the longest edges. Double sided tape is fabulous. You could use glue, but I think this is just much faster in result. You know, I had to sit there and wait for the glue to dry. Okay. Now I want this on the outside. So I'm going to make sure I'm not too close. To this inside part I want it closer to the outside again so we can fold it. Now this allows you to go in and slide your photo in here okay makes a really nice then you could put a little double-sided tape on the top and bottoms to block your photo in. I also want to embellish it with ribbon so school colors I've got two colors here blue and a white that I'm going to put as decoration, just more, more flair. I've allowed a hand's length <laughs> to go over and for it to be the length of the card and then also the inside. Okay. The first color that I'm going to use is off-white, white. This ribbon's a little bit thicker. I'm gonna lay it just like that. I had already applied double-sided tape to it. That's how I did that so fast, by the way. Double-sided tape was already on there. Now, pulling the double-sided tape off. There you go. And then now let's do the blue. This ribbon is a little bit thinner. We're gonna go right in the middle. The white, look at that. Just adds that extra flair. 
great decoration, you know, adding that pop of color for your party too. And school spirit. Okay. And there we go. And then the top here, I'm just gonna tie it in a little knot. And this just kind of hangs down. I don't, to me, it just kind of acted like an extra tassel part too, as well. And then one last thing, we have these awesome stickers from HM High. So you could take the school that you went to, chose, and put the stickers, apply them on here. And it's just that great finishing touch for your giant graduation photo. All right, I wanted to show you guys some of the new stamps that we got on this year. Um, we have a graduation ca cap and also the 2016 stamp. These are great to embellish the small or regular size or your jumbo new photo folder. So right now I am using, it's the Brilliance Galaxy Gold. You could use a gold stamp pad. And I'm going to decorate. And it's gonna look like the caps are like thrown up at graduation. But I just think this is something really cute. I like them to go off the edge sometimes too. Um, couple more. That one didn't stamp all the way. That's okay. I'll put another one kind of over it. And super cute. Like they're all being tossed up in the air. And then I'm also going to stamp on the back like a little, like an actual card. <laughs> and then I'll put 2016. So we remember so just some quick and easy things to do with some of the new stamps that we just got in to add to your jumbo photo card.